Okay, so the best thing to do with this is a diagram. So we've got a house here, and the person's travelled 3,650 metres to get to the shop, and then the person travels back 120 metres. So they're not at home at the moment, they're on their way home, and we're asked to find the maximum distance the person is from their house. So if we didn't understand bounds, we would do 3,650, take away 120. But it says each of these is to nearest 10 metres, therefore we need to find the lowering bound of both of them. So I'm going to start off with 3,650, and we write that in the middle. Now the next one down from that would be 3,640, if it's the nearest 10, and the next one up from that is 3,660. Then to find the bounds, we do the halfway points, so the lower bound will be 3,645, uh, 3, and the upper bound will be 3,655. And we're going to repeat that for the 120, so 120 goes in the middle, next one down is 110, Next one up is 130. Then we're going to do the halfway points to find the lower and upper bound. So 115 and 125. Now we're looking for the maximum distance. So we're looking for the distance she travels to the shop to be as high as possible because we want her to be as far away as possible but we want her to walk back as little as possible, so we maximise the distance that the person has to get uh, back to their house. So we're looking for the highest one for the distance she, the, that they travel to the shop, and the lowest one for the distance they returned home. So we're going to do 3,655, which is the upper bound of that, take away the lower bound of the 120, which is 115. So, I'll do that on a calculator, 3655, five, take away 115. And the answer I get is 3540. Now the most common mistake with this is to look at the word maximum and think, oh well, we're going to take the upper bound of both of them. But when you subtract, to find the maximum, when you subtract, you want to do the upper bound to take away the lower bound. 